Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah. Now, when making a game, chances are high you'll have to do some programming. And programming can be really tricky at times, especially when your game is made up of dozens of scripts, all interacting and dependent of each other. I've worked on a few games where adding or removing a few lines of code almost felt like handling a bomb about to explode, angry looking errors invading my games console. Now, of course, the more experience you have at coding, the better you'll be at making clean, efficient scripts. But in the meantime, especially as a beginner game creator, your goal number one is just to get things working. And as a beginner or even an experienced programmer, you'll undoubtedly come across apparently unsolvable coding bugs and error messages. And so in this video, I hope to help you out overcome these programming challenges with a couple cool tips and tricks that sure have helped me debug my code and get my games working smoothly. I write my code using Visual Studio and use the Unity game engine to bring my ideas to life, but almost everything covered here can be applied to any scripting editor and game engine. Just before starting, here's a big thanks to Pebble and Wisp for their epic support on Patreon. Okay, let's get started. So tip number one, and probably the most famous, is the rubber duck technique. If you get a nasty error and after a dozen minutes are unable to solve the issue, grab a rubber duck, teddy bear, figurine and clearly explain to it the problem you are currently facing. Obviously, this is a weird, almost crazy thing to do, but it can really, really help. Look at this inanimate rubber duck and be precise. Tell it what's not working and express with a clear voice what you're trying to achieve. The simple act of voicing out loud your problem can have miraculous effects. If simply explaining to your rubber duck where the error is and what you would like to achieve isn't enough, try explaining to it your entire script, line by line. By describing what you want and observing what you actually get, chances are high you'll eventually spot the issue. Now, Of course, if you have a willing friend or family member nearby, you can use them instead, which can be even better because they can question you further and ask for more detailed explanations of what you're trying trying to achieve. And the deeper you go into your explanations, the more likely you are to find the source of the problem and eventually come up with a solution. Of course, you may very well not even know where the error comes from. Scripts can quickly get huge and very alien looking, and so spotting the issue can be tough. But the Unity console makes programmers' lives a whole lot easier by throwing a red warning message whenever there is a problem with your code that you can then double click on to open up your scripting editor, the line with the error being highlighted. Most scripting editors will also underline in red problematic lines which point you in the right direction. So definitely use the Unity console and these telltale signs from your scripting editor to solve your coding bugs. Also use the debug.log function which can display a variable's value or a string for example directly inside of your console. So for example if you feel as if an if statement is never returning true, you can confirm that by adding a debug.log line inside that statement and checking whether or not it displays itself in the console. Or if a variable value doesn't seem right and you think that might be causing the bug, then debug.log that variable's value, which again can confirm your claim. Internet is a fountain of information and can be the ultimate solution to any programming problem you may be facing. Almost every imaginable coding error has been faced and solved. So just type out your problem the best you can and you'll almost certainly come across a forum page or a tutorial offering you a solution. Googling for answers is really a skill and like all skills with practice, you'll get better and better at finding ways to fix your code with internet. You don't need to clutter your head with a huge amount of coding vocabulary or learn by heart function names to be a good and effective programmer. You just need to know how to use internet and implement what you find inside of your own scripts. If you don't understand your problem and can't put it into work, just try typing out the red warning message you get in the console and again something will pop up pointing you in the right direction. Also don't hesitate to start a forum thread asking for help. The Unity forum for example is amazing and you'll quickly find great people wanting to help you. On top of that explaining your problem to others via forum will, like with the rubber duck technique, make something tick and you might very well solve the issue right there and then without needing to submit your thread. Note that you can also join the Blackthorn Pro Discord server and ask for help there as well. Me or some other member will be more than happy to come to your aid. 
Next up, comments. To add comments to your scripts, simply add a double slash at the start of the line and you'll see that all words written after that will be a dull grey colour. If you want to write more than one line of comments, add one slash and a little star and then close up that paragraph with a star and a slash. Basically, add comments to explain what each part of your script does. If you have a chunk of your script handling your player character's movement, for example, add a comment above that chunk stating that fact. Your comment can be as detailed or simple as you want, and though it may initially seem like an extra annoying step, in the long run it will make a big difference. When you have dozens of scripts, each with dozens of lines of alien looking nonsense, having some plain English comments to quickly guide you through what each part of your code does is extremely helpful and time saving. If you also take a break from your project, coming back to it a week or more later with scripts all nicely commented out will be absolutely awesome. You'll be able to jump back in a lot easier without getting a painful headache. Having a more organized code has really the effect of reducing the number of likely bugs faced further down the road. If you make detailed comments that actually explain how the code works and not only what it does, you'll also be learning a lot. Whenever you look at a tutorial like those on my channel for example, I highly recommend you comment out all code you write, explaining what it does and why it works. This makes sure you don't only copy what you see but try your best to understand it. And understanding your code is key to avoiding a packet full of errors and many frustrating moments. Now, little errors are usually very easy to fix, like forgetting a semicolon, for example, or using an int as a float. But sometimes you may face bugs spanning over multiple scripts and completely breaking your game. Debugging that can be hellish. Some bugs are so bad they're almost impossible to fix. That's why it's very important to make backups of your game project that you can turn back on if things go really wrong. GitHub, for example, is an amazing place where you can save multiple versions of your project and download those versions if the need arises. Say on day one your game is coming along very nicely. You save it to GitHub and then on day two, a huge bug appears, unsolvable. Well, you can simply download the game as it was on day one via GitHub, and that bug will no longer be there and you can start fresh all over again. If you type Unity Project to GitHub, you'll find a pack of great tutorials on how to use GitHub with Unity to save your projects, which I highly recommend you do. It can really save you. With that said, a good way to stop massive bugs from occurring is writing little chunks of code at a time and regularly testing your game, making sure everything is working well. Don't write huge scripts in one shot, especially as a beginner. It'll be a lot harder tracking down bugs and when things don't work out right, you'll be stumped as to what to change. For example, when making a platform or controller, it's great to first get the horizontal movement working, test out in Unity, make sure everything is okay, and then move on to the jump then the attack, and so on. Now, despite applying and trying all mentioned in this video, it's possible your code is still riddled with vicious bugs and errors. Either you're trying to make something way too complex for your skill level, or, and just as likely, you need a good break away from your computer or game project. Taking a break has helped me out tremendously. Countless times have I been stumped in front of a bug for more than an hour, forced myself to take a break, and then solve the issue in under five minutes. Trust me, having a pause can be a Amazing. I guess you've seen your code in a whole new light, and errors previously invisible and confusing become crystal clear. Even five minutes outdoors looking at the sky can do the trick. And that's it! Those are my top methods I use to fix my programming problems and debug code. I would love to know which solution you find the most helpful and what you do to overcome coding challenges. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Supporting me financially like these top supporters via Patreon would also be amazing. Okay, thanks so much for watching. See you very soon. Cheers!